Hello, everyone. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. My name is Brandy. Uh, I work in the Reputation and Brand Management Department at Fanshawe College. I will be your host for today's session, uh, joined by Karen Harley, who will be speaking about Theatre Arts Performance Program. Um, Karen, if I could get you to go to the next slide for me. I'm just going to uh, cover a few housekeeping items before we get started. So the first thing to note is that the audience webcams and mics are turned off for this session. So uh, don't worry if you're rocking your sweatpants or eating a snack, we can't see you. <laughs> um, if you have any questions throughout this session, it's super easy to send them in by using the questions feature. Um, so there's a little question mark on your screen, just click that, type in your question and it will come right to me. Um, throughout Karen's presentation, I will gather all your submitted questions um, and have them prepared for a live Q&A after. Um, we'll, we will do our best to try to get through all of our questions today. Uh, if you're looking for more information after the session, I will then provide you with some contact information uh, for uh, Karen, the college, and how to book an appointment with uh, the college recruiters. Uh, lastly, if you happen to have multiple programs open and running on your computer, uh, it may compromise your webinar experience. So we do recommend that you take a moment to, to close any open programs before we begin today. Now, once again, I'd like to introduce, introduce you to Karen Harley, who will be speaking about theater arts performance. Uh, I will be back for the live Q&A, and I will now pass it over to you, Karen. Okay, thank you very much, Brandy. Welcome, everybody. Um, this, is, this session is about the theater arts performance. So I'm just going to click my little slide here to go to the next slide, which is our program detail. So um, a little bit about this program. It's a two-year program. Um, you will gain practical experience in acting for stage, screen. Um, you will learn how to do play analysis, and you will also leave here with some great entrepreneurial skills. So as an actor, you are your own business, so those skills will be um, very, very important to you when, you when you leave with us. So you'll also take other specialized uh, master classes and work with professional artists during your time here, and especially on your capstone project um, in your last semester. Um, so you'll be guided through the process of discovering a method of acting that brings out your full potential and you'll emerge with a deep understanding of scene study for stage and screen, movement for the actor, um, business of acting, and you'll emerge with a strong foundation for launching your career. So some of our program highlights. So this, we have strong foundation skills. So that is one of the most important things for us in your time here. We're gonna go over that in a little bit of what does foundation skills mean. So the program provides in-depth training for a career on the stage, the screen, and gives you an opportunity to work with professional directors and or actors. Uh, so in your time here, you're going to have um, the necessary skills to prepare you to work as an actor in the entertainment industry. So the entertainment industry is just not, it's not just for stage, it's not just for screen. There is lots of new, new technologies out there that we are hoping that you will be able to tap into once you leave here. The discovery of method of working is specific to you as a creative artist. So you will give, we will be giving you lots of tools in your toolbox that you will pick the best ones that work for you to create the best characters that you can create. Our professors are highly regarded experts in their field. They bring real world experience and understanding to the specific challenges of this profession. The skills in different methods of combat move Specialized technology. Specialized technology is animation, is mocap, is green screen, all of those things that are our newest technology. In your final year, the opportunity to work with professional artists on a capstone project supported and presented in professional circumstances. And we have three theater programs here at um, Fanshawe. So you are the performance side, then we also have the technical production side, and we also have a costume production side. So on your capstone project, we all work together collaboratively to create a very professional show. So you'll get sets, you'll get lights, you'll get sound, you get costumes. So it is a cre we're creating that professional circumstance for you. So some of the courses that we'll be delivering um, during your time with us are acting for screen and stage, movement, speech, stage combat, and again, some of these specialized technologies that skills in the new technologies that we had talked about. So we, we bring new 
and exciting things too. So we're creating you those foundation skills. So those foundation skills are your, your acting skills, your movement skills, your speech skills. Those are the things that we will be dedicating a lot of time to so that you have that ability to pick which form of viewpoints or Suzuki, which one of those things is the best for you. So that's what we will give you. So excursions in your first year, you have a few more excursions than you do in your second year. Um, we take you to the Stratford Festival to see shows. We take you to the Shaw Festival to see shows. We take you to the Grand Theater throughout the year to see shows here in London. And then in, in the winter term of your first um, year, we take you to Toronto to see four shows. We, it's, it's a whole weekend event where you, you see you see theater and we have talkbacks with other act, professional actors so you can ask a lot of questions about what the industry is like and how they cope and all of the different kinds of things that you're going to want to know and then in your second year the excursions are again we go to stratford to shaw and then again throughout your year you see you do the grand theater but in the winter time of your last semester we do industry auditions and we do them here in london and we also do them in toronto so you have a night of industry auditions here and then again a night of meeting casting directors and artistic directors and other people that would be hiring in um, that time so guest artists whenever possible we have guest artists to come in and hold workshops um, that will help you along the way in becoming the best artist you can be. So we have Le Bon workshops, we have clown workshops, we do have a lot of professionals come in to teach you different methods of acting, different ways of creating a character, different understanding in the ability to be a character on stage or on screen for um, all of the different types of you could be doing. In your final semester, you'll have the opportunity to work with professionals in the industry on a capstone project. I keep bringing that back to your end. Those are That is your culminating project. So you're going to bring all of the things that you've learned from your first semester, your first, second, and third semesters, and you will be bringing that into that capstone project where you will present that um, to a live audience. So now I'm going to go to a, a collage of productions that we have done over the years here. Um, so our first one is Twelfth Night. It's a um, the first um, collaborations of the three theater programs that we had. We um, our school is downtown London downtown campus, so most of your courses will be um, at this campus. So you don't need to necessarily travel to Oxford Street to do any of your classes. So um, we collaborate. As you can see, there is a set that is created for you behind you. Um, there are the actors on stage, and then there are the costumes that have been built for that particular actor. So you get the full experience of what that's like being on stage. Um, Shelly and I and the Idealist is another one of our capstone project. It was a devised piece of theater. So you can see that we were creating characters and or putting, using face masks as your character to bring out the reality of what um, you are talking about. Of Mice and Men is one of our um, very realistic um, productions that we've done here. Um, and we also, it came complete with a dog on stage. So you never know who you may end up working with. Here's um, Don Juan in Hell. So this was a, a, one of the more fun ones where the students got to play America multiple characters um, throughout the show. So they were not just one character all the way through, they got to play multiple characters and understand what a larger production might be like. So who will be teaching you? So industry professionals, all of our teachers are still working in the industry um, in different um, forms of live entertainment. Um, they work at places like the Stratford Festival, the Grand Theatre, some of them have come from New York. So you've got a wide variety of um, interests and we have also a wide variety of professionals teaching you. So um, that all being said, I said that very quickly apparently because I'm sure we're not quite up to our, our time. But if you do have any questions after this session today, I'm quite happy to answer any of your, um, your questions that you may have. My name is Karen Harley again. I'm the coordinator of the program and my email address here is kharley at fanshawc.ca. So thanks for your time today, folks. Amazing. Thank you, Karen. Um, no problem. A lot of great information.
I'm sure it's circulating in um, many people's minds right now. Uh, I do have a couple questions that came in, so I will start with those. Um, but for anyone else um, that's interested in submitting a question, again, just click on that question mark on your screen, type in your question, it'll come to me and I'll make sure to ask Karen. So the first question I have um, is about the Capstone Project. Uh, is that a one-man show? Uh, no, you are working as an ensemble. So it is not a cat. Um, so we don't do any um, one man shows. They're definitely you work as an ensemble. So you're um, working with your group of, of students, depending on the number of students, you may be in one section or two sections. But we definitely you are working as a group. So um, depending on the number of people that are in your graduating year, it could be a smaller production or a bigger production. Um, but definitely no one man shows. Excellent. At this point, anyway. Um, I have a couple different questions uh, that I will summarize as one. Um, yep. Can I get a job? <laughs> that's my um, attempt at summarizing different ways people have asked it. <laughs> that's right. So um, in your first year, there is the ability to, um, to work part time. Um, it is a pretty intense program. The expectation is that you are here on time from your classes could start at eight o'clock in the morning and go right till 10 o'clock at night. So in your first year, that doesn't necessarily happen. You have, um, every day you have classes from eight o'clock or nine o'clock in the morning until at least three or four in the afternoon. So um, getting a part-time job for the weekends is more um, realistic than trying to work days and throughout the time. In your second year, we recommend that you try to avoid getting a job a part-time job but we understand that that's maybe not possible but we do um it's your time here is much more um uh intense let's put it that way so you are definitely here because you <clears throat> excuse me you will have classes so you will have classes probably from nine in the morning until about two o'clock in the afternoon and then you will have rehearsals from necessary from three o'clock till nine o'clock ten o'clock at night all, all the way through Monday through Friday. So it is pretty um, pretty intense, um, but uh, worthwhile and rewarding for sure. Excellent. Uh, I'll continue down the, the job aspect. Um, can you speak to any of the careers or experiences that you know any of our graduates have had since graduating the program? Oh sure. Um, we have lots of grad. We have several grads that are working in the film industry right now. So they're acting in films. They're doing Harlequin, the Harlequin movies. They're doing. Um, uh, they're on Heartbeat. They're doing not Heartbeat. What's it? Heartland. Sorry, Heartland. Um, Heartland out west. Um, we have some. Uh, one of our grads lives on the west coast, and he's writing scripts for television. <clears throat> Excuse me. We also have um, grads that are in Toronto that have started their own theater company and are doing really well. We have an art, um, one that has just become an uh, artistic director of a very small theater company. So it's very diversified depending on what your interest is. Um, there's lots of opportunity. It's just you need to be hungry for it. That makes sense. Yeah. Um... I have a couple uh, expanded questions from the capstone one. So um, will it be devised or something that is already published? Um, we do both. Okay. Um, so sometimes we do, as you can see, we did Of Mice and Men, that's a very published play. Um, we've done Shakespeare projects, we've done, um, typically you do a Shakespeare project in the fall of your second year. And then um, we also have, uh, Certainly, we've taken traditional plays and turned them into devised work. We also have done them straight, as in straight plays. So it, it's going to be a combination. And what we do is we decide on what those capstone projects are as to best showcase your work as a group. So it's not individual that we're showcasing, but we're showcasing you to the best of your abilities. Excellent. Um... Uh, oh, I guess uh, that uh, your your comment about someone being on the West Coast writing has uh, sparked a question. Are you learning to write plays as well? No, we don't necessarily. It's not one of your courses, but sometimes what we do is we bring in, um, we've brought in people to actually help you with that. So we've brought, we did a workshop not 
this year, but last year we did a workshop in um, a new form of theater where you take um, you take five sentences and you create a devised work from it, or you you create a writing from it, which then creates into a performance. So we do do different things, but you don't have a particular course in playwriting. Excellent. Um, I'm guessing this question is close to the person's heart. Um, they're wondering if you've done any Caribbean plays. Um, Caribbean plays? No, not that I'm aware of, but I've only been the coordinator of this program for six years, so they may have done something in the past. We do tend to do a lot of Canadian plays because we are Canadian, but we do tend to um, showcase our, our Canadian um, playwrights. Excellent. Um... And there's oh, one question. Um, how much time should I expect to be spending at the school? Um, six to eight hours a day. Perfect. I would suggest and that's in your first year and then second year, it can be eight to 10 hours a day. It okay. just depends on where we are in the process. Yeah. Do I get some great relationships with your classmates when you're together that long? <laughs> Yes, for sure. Yeah. So I'm just going to do one last call out for questions. If anyone has any more, I will uh, keep an eye out. Again, I just wanted to uh, bring your attention to the screen where it has uh, Karen's email address, kharley at fanshawc.ca. Um, if you have any further questions about Fanshawe, you can feel free to email us at myfuture at fanshawc.ca. Um, or book an appointment, a uh, virtual appointment with a recruiter at fanchasi.ca slash connect, um, where they can uh, provide you more detailed information um, that might be specific to your situation. Um, I also want to make sure to invite you um, to a session that happens on Wednesday, November 25th at 3 p.m., which is a session all about life downtown uh, for our downtown students, which you might... Uh, be interested in learning and attending to get more specific information that's relevant to this program. Um, as well, uh, watch your emails for uh, details about this Saturday's activities for open house, which include more details about student life at the college. Um, I don't see any other questions coming in. So I think uh, that will be short and sweet, but I we really appreciate all your information, Karen. Um, I hope it's got some people seriously considering Fanshawe and coming to be a part of our Fanshawe family. Um, yes, so I look forward to seeing you here. all in the fall. <laughs> um, yes, we hope to see you today, by the way. in person eventually. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I thank you all and I hope you enjoy the rest of your open house. Bye for now. Thank you.